Good morning, and it is April 1st. We have a new month and a new week, and we're starting things off right. And uh, this is going to be my first sip of coffee for the month of April. Here goes. Yikes. Very hot, but very good. <laughs> Love my coffee. Okay, so we put this over here. And um, I am going to just show you guys what we got on sale for food. Uh, if they call things sales, sometimes they are a real good buy. Other times they are not. So well, let's go through this and then leave your opinions in the comments below. Whether or not you think some of these things are good deals or not. Uh, spiral sliced ham at Shaw's, which is Albertsons or uh, Save Right, I believe, um, is 97 cents a pound. Um, I know it's after Easter, but you can still get one and throw them in the freezer. I think that's a good buy. Um, they're not saying how much the prices are for the mixed berries, but it's buy two, get one free, but that's not always a bargain. Um, chicken tenders and the pork uh, St. Louis style ribs. Um, I'm thinking maybe on um, the ribs, but I don't, maybe nowadays the $2.99 for chicken tenders is good. I don't know. I just think it's very expensive. I remember my mother buying them for 99 cents a pound. And even I did. So they did have a three-day sale, and they had beef, lodge, and rib roast, which you could actually cut into ribeye steaks if you like. And that is six ninety-seven a pound. But you know the sale's over. They did have asparagus, eighty-seven cents a pound, limit two. The roast was the limit one. Um, I'm very picky with asparagus. If it's not very um, thin. It has to be the real thin one or I won't buy it. So you don't know until you get there to see how it is. Um, pineapples, $1.47. I don't think that's bad at all. It's cheaper than Aldi. Um, and they had bacon, $3.97 a pound. Well, not a pound, 12 to 16 ounces, um, depending on whether you got Oscar Mayer or Smithfield bacon. Crackers and chips, $1.97. Limit six. They do that so that they're hoping you buy the six, you know, because on, on the meat and stuff, it's only a limit one. But God, on that junk food, you know, let's let's get that junk food in everyone's system, right? Uh, they have mayo, limit one. With, you know, this is with the digital coupon, two ninety seven. It's Hellman's, which is about probably what I pay for Aldi um, mayo. Land Lakes Butters, two ninety seven limit two, and they have some frozen vegetables. Um, they're very small though; they're not pounds like they used to be. Green Giant and Bird's Eye, uh, seven to ten point eight ounces, seventy seven cents each, limit six. So I will say, if you can get a hold of some coupons that you can stack with that on top of the digital coupon, like if you can come up with tangible paper coupons, that might be a good deal. Um, the back page is, eh, it's okay. Um, no, broccoli isn't worth $1.67 a pound right now to me. Anything else here I would buy? No, they got turkey breasts, $1.99 a pound. That's, that's kind of cheap. That is really cheap. Um, Lego lamb, $7.99 a pound which my dad always told me, get American lamb, don't get the Australian lamb. I don't know why. He said the Australian lamb is very gamey. Um, eye of the round, top round, four ninety nine a pound. Yeah, it's just the same old stuff. I usually don't get a lot of things that are on the inside of the ad because the inside of the ad is more of, just like shopping at the store, they say shop the perimeter. So it's the same thing with the ad. Um, that's what I found. That's my opinion. So we're going to move on over to Market Basket, but first I need another sip of coffee. And while I'm drinking my coffee here, I just want to thank you for stopping by and uh, leave a comment on what you think is a good deal. 
and uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're almost at our goal of 1,000, and I'd love to have you be part of my goal. So here we go at Market Basket, okay? Market Basket has chicken breasts, boneless and skinless, two forty nine a pound. I think by today's standards, that's a good deal. And they have any size package, and they don't have limits. Uh, Bone-in center cut pork chops, $1.99 a pound. Um, yeah, I can't eat any of the seafood. I don't like pork butt. Um... I'm afraid to eat the cantaloupe because I don't know if they're still being recalled, but the two ninety nine and I don't don't think it's a great deal anyway. I don't like russet potatoes. Um, they got two pounds for a dollar, so that's fifty cents a pound, really, when you think about it. So I'm gonna look on the back of this and see what else they have. It doesn't mean I'm going to these stores. It just means that, you know what, I haven't looked at the ad yet, so look at it with me. <laughs> but this is more of the uh, prepared foods, which are actually pretty good if, if you like prepared food like that. Um, I don't, but if you do, this is pretty good. I mean, look, they got a whole pizza for ten ninety nine, and it's really good, and they, they do make them to order. I've had it at um, different events, different um, parties and things where people said that that's where they got their pizza, and it was really good. So, um, yeah, that, I guess that's about it. Do I need anything this week? Um, no, I really don't. Um, but I just, I, it's fun to go through the ads and say, huh, I'm stocked on that, 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 and that, and have a ball with it, you know? So these were the sales for this week, and they are good until th um, Thursday at midnight. Friday starts new sales, new ads, and um, we'll see what next week brings. I really don't need anything here. Um, maybe the mail. <laughs> but I want to go to a store just for John Mayo. So we'll see what happens. We'll see. Um I do need to replenish some bread, um, but I made a decision that I am no longer going to buy bread in a package. Um, I will either make it myself or I can take a walk to the neighborhood to Italian bakeries I have about a block away from me, two blocks away. Take a walk on a nice day and go get some real fresh Italian bread. They have um, sliced Italian. They have the Sicilian bread that you can slice on your own. They have rolls. They have they have everything. Um, so, yeah, I noticed that on a lot of packaged breads, there are warnings that they have bioengineered ingredients. I I'm just not doing it. It's only bread. It doesn't take much to make it. So, um, and I'll be perfecting my bread making skill as I go along. So I wanted to share this with you, and uh, this was a different way to have coffee with everyone. Uh, no breakfast today, not feeling it. Had a lodge dinner yesterday afternoon, and um, I haven't eaten since. So I am going to go finish my coffee and see what else the day brings. I have this over here. This is my binder with my bills. I'm going to be paying my bills and doing um, my budget is all set. So I know what I have and I'm just going to pay the bills and um, then plan out the rest of my week. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week, a wonderful day. I hope that April is everything that we hoped it could be and um, that God blesses us even more this month. You guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget that thumbs up and subscribe. I love you, and I'll catch you on my next video.